most people just look at the weather app to check the temperature or see how long it's gonna rain. But Apple's weather app can actually do a lot more than that. It's got radar maps, automations, and powerful widgets. In this video, I'm bringing down the best tips across all your Apple devices on the weather app. When you open the weather app, your current location is right at the top. Scroll down and you'll see hourly forecasts, daily highs and lows, and bonus info like UV index, wind, and humidity. Now let's get into some of the really cool tips. You can long press and drag cities to reorder them. This is perfect if you wanna check the weather in other cities or vacations you have planned, things like that. Now this is where it gets fun, the radar maps. Tap the little map icon on the bottom left. You can view live overlays for precipitation, temperature, and air quality. Pinch to zoom out and check the global parameters. It looks awesome. And actually, on an iPad, this gets even better. You can go into full screen and compare cities with Split View or Stage Manager. Apple pulls in official alerts for your location. You'll get notifications for things like tornadoes, flash floods, and more. To make sure it's on, go to Settings, Notifications, and Weather. Then turn on Severe Weather. And that's it. On the Apple Watch, your weather app gives you the current conditions. Scroll with the digital crown to see more details like wind or chance of rain. But the real power is in the complications. You could use a modular face with chance of rain and temperature. This is super helpful when you're on the go or on a run and you wanna make sure that you're gonna be okay in the rain. Mac OS finally has a full weather app now and it's a lot like the iPad version. You can even drag a weather widget into your notification center or on your desktop. And something cool is all your saved cities sync over all your iCloud so everything looks the same. Widgets are pretty underrated, but they're actually super useful, especially with the weather app. Long press your home screen, hit plus, then search weather. You can pick small, medium, or large widgets for your home screen or lock screen. On iPad, that large widget is a great landscape layout. Siri is able to pull data right from the weather app. You could try asking, do I need an umbrella today? Or you could ask things like, what's the wind speed today? Which is great when your hands are full and you're curious what the weather is like. You can tap on any day to expand the forecast. Tap the hourly chart to scroll sideways. Tap the UV index for an explanation of what that means. Apple's weather app has come a long way, but most people aren't using half of what the weather app can actually do. From radar maps to smart automations, it's one of Apple's most useful stock apps. If this helped, hit the like button, maybe even subscribe, and let me know what app you want me to go in depth in next.